You can do this. I'll help you. If you're here about a specific question, check the description. There's timestamps there. You might be able to skip right to your answer. Today I'm going to show you how to operate both user interfaces inside the BLF GT, how to switch between those two groups, and how to program the individual functions inside those groups. There's a link in the description to the user manual, which you'll want to bring up and look that over. There's also a link there to Joe China's cheat sheet, which we'll get to later. The default setting of the BLF GT is to the ramping modes group, and I'll show you real quick how to operate that. One click will give you on and off. A press and hold from any position will give you the ramp function. You can ramp up or ramp down. When you get to the top of the ramp, that right there is your high mode. If you want to get to turbo mode, the full 2.5 amps, double click from any position. Visually, it's tough to tell the difference, but my lumen tube said there is one. When you turn the light off, it'll memorize any mode except for turbo, the strobes, and moonlight, so anywhere in the ramp. The way we get to moonlight is we press and hold just for a little bit. As soon as the light comes on, you let off. That right there is your moonlight mode. If you want to access the strobes, double click to go to turbo, and then double click again, and you'll go into the strobes menu. There are five different strobes in there. You can see them listed in the user manual. If you want to cycle through those strobes, you can either do it right when you get into the strobes menu. There's about a 1.2 second window where a click will roll you forward through those, or at any time, a short press will roll you back. So double click, double click again. Now, after that 1.2 second window closes, a click would turn us off, but a very short press will roll us backwards. And you can just you can do that at any time. If you want to check the battery voltage, you can do a triple click and it will blink out the battery voltage. What you're seeing there is the voltage of one cell. It's even though the pack is like 16 volts fully charged, it'll blink out the voltage of one cell. So the way this blinks it out is it'll go like 4.1 or 3.6. So it'll, for this, it'll go four blinks, a short pause, and then one blank will be 4.1. So we're getting 4.1. From battery check mode, if we double click again, we can check the temperature of our driver. It's going to blink this out the same way. It's in degrees Celsius. So right now I'm getting one, two, three, one, two, three, and then a space and one, two, so 33.2 degrees Celsius. Four clicks will give you the electronic lockout. Another four will bring you back in. There's also a momentary mode, which we get into by five consecutive clicks. Now the only time that the light will come on is when we press and hold the switch. The only way to get back out of that is to disconnect the battery so there's no power going to it, and then reconnect it, and those blinks signify, okay, we have power again. Now the way that we switch from the ramping group to the modes group is by entering the programming window. And anytime we enter the programming window, you need to plan ahead a little bit. And the reason is when it opens, you only have a few seconds inside the window before the user interface will automatically move on to the next subsection. What happens is you open it up and you get a couple of seconds inside that first window and if you don't do anything it just cascades downward to the next window and the next window. Now when we enter the programming menu what we'll see is a series of blinks. The first thing you'll see is two blinks indicating we're moving into the sections. Then you'll see one blink meaning okay we're in section one. And then when that window closes and we move on to the next section we'll get two blinks, a pause, then two blinks, 
and so on. When we move to the third section, it'll be two blinks saying we're moving on, and then one, two, three saying we're in section three. The way that we enter the programming window is just to press and hold the button for about eight seconds till we see these flashes. Okay, that lets me know I'm in section one. I'll click one time because I want to switch to the modes group. Now we're going down through our windows and I can either just wait that out or I can press and hold the switch and it'll move to the next section faster. Now looking again at our sheet I see the default is four mode but I'm gonna have five modes because moonlight is enabled so I'll have one, two, three, four, five and then off. So if your mode counts off, now you know why. Now in the modes group, the way we cycle modes is just by clicks, but in the beginning you have to be quick. There's that 1.2 second window that's open. If I stop right there and then click again, it's going to be off. If you want to cycle modes even after you've been on for a while, a short press and hold will roll you backwards. So instead of ramp ramping up, you ramp down. Since I'm on moon right there, if I press and hold, I'll go to high. We can, we can do that any time. But you got to let go pretty quick because if you press and hold longer, you end up in strobe. While we're in the strobes menu, the same thing applies. We get a window when we first get in there. We can click to move forward or at any time we can do short press and hold to roll back. Except I did it wrong just then. <laughs> From here to check our battery, we do a single click followed by a press and hold. Our electronic lockout is a double click followed by a press and hold. Okay, let's try programming some of the other features here. What I'm going to do is plan ahead so I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to look at my sheet. Let's try to do two things when we enter the programming menu this time. Let's set the moonlight to the lowest setting, and then after that, let's disable the strobes and see how that goes. Now, the way that we enter the programming menu on modes group is the same way. We do a press and hold, but it's for a shorter time, just a few seconds. Now we're in and we'll wait for it to go down to menu six. I'm gonna click one time to set to the lowest moonlight. In menu seven, we'll do nothing. In menu eight, I'm gonna click one time to disable my strobe. Okay, now let's see how we did. Okay, we have no strobe. So that's good. Uh, let's check our moonlight. Uh-oh. We got nothing. It's going to seem like what we get now is a double click to be able to turn on the light. But really, we just have moonlight set so low that it doesn't work. And... I, I guess that it's based on the VF of the emitters. I'm not quite sure, but sometimes in a few lights, it's just not going to work all the way at low. In my particular light, the lowest moonlight that I can get to work is number two, which is just one below the default setting. So now if you get that, that emptiness there, you know why. Now, let's take a look at some of the other features that we can program. Down here at the bottom of your sheet, you can see where it says Advanced Features. We have this uh, green lit button on the GT that helps us find it in the dark, but some people don't want that on, so let's turn it off. The way this programming menu operates is the same as the other one, but the way we enter it is different. We have to go through the battery check mode to get to it. So what we'll do is triple click we're in battery check mode and then we'll press and hold and then one click 
and now it's cascading down through its menu so I'm just gonna press and hold to get that finished up and there we have it to do a factory reset from the modes group we enter our battery check mode by the single click press and hold now that we have the battery blink on we double click double click press and hold four blinks indicates we've done it the way that we do a factory reset from ramping mode is we triple click to enter the battery check mode then double click double click press and hold the four blinks confirms that we've done it one other thing I encourage you to check out is Joe China's cheat sheet. He's made this so that you can print it off and roll it up and stick it in the tail cap of your light so you don't have to remember all that stuff. I just want to say again, super thanks to everybody that's worked on this project. Team Giggles, anyone who's contributed to Lumen Top for delivering an amazing product at an excellent price. I really appreciate you guys. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Good lucks.